Alright guys, today we're looking at a new rogue called System Care Antivirus. And it's pretty similar to most of the rogues that have come out lately, but there's one little interesting feature in it that I quite enjoy. So we'll just wait for this to boot up. Alright, we are in Windows, and there is System Care Antivirus. And as you can see, it's using the old school 2009... Uh, system security little yellow and black tiger stripe shield for a logo which is kind of interesting that they couldn't come up with something new and went back to the old standby of this very prolific rogue that was out for a long time anyway uh, so it's pretty much the same as the old ones uh, same scanner we'll just go ahead and stop it for now telling me to remove all threats uh, same protection stuff down here, uh, privacy, update settings, of course you can't check or uncheck anything without buying it. Uh, we've got six languages, which is great. Uh, let's try to save report. Apparently we can save the report, which is cool, but you can't open it really, because System Care Antivirus just closes the program, which is incredibly annoying, but... We'll get around that in a little bit. So, I'll just go ahead and show off the payment page for now. Uh, get license. There it is. $99.99 for System Care Antivirus. It's got the little check mark. Or the thumbs up, excuse me. Over there. Uh, 2.7.0, that's, that's good. Uh, you know, standard payment page. And when you try to... Oops. Try to browse the web, get this nice warning, but it'll let you through, which is nice. So that works. So that's pretty much it for System Care Antivirus. Uh, it doesn't allow you to run Task Manager or Solitaire or anything really. So let's go ahead and get into removal. And the first thing I would do is download Arkill. Because this program is going to get incredibly annoying and we need something to combat it. So, R kill. Alright, and of course, I will provide uh, links for all of these, so don't worry about having to uh, like pause the video and all of that. So, we'll just go ahead and download R kill eventually. There we go, save it to the desktop, and there it is. Now, in its current state, we can't run it. As you can see, it just closes itself. It made a log, but it didn't do anything. So we have to rename it to... Or actually, yes, rename to lsass.exe. And then now you run it, and it runs all right. And it has killed the system care antivirus window. And will allow us to browse the web freely, I believe should allow us to do that. So we'll just go back to Google and download Malwarebytes anti-malware okay our kill has finished and we're just not waiting on our kill. Uh, Malwarebytes setup, we'll go ahead and save it and of course, links in the description for all of this. So we'll go ahead and run the Malwarebytes setup. Next, accept the agreement. Next, 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 next. Uh, we'll not enable free trial today. Click finish. Ah, uh, there it goes, the updater. It is updating files and things. Alright, successfully updated. And now we have the standard Malwarebytes window. Leave it on quick scan and just run a scan. Okay, so the scan has completed. Let's go ahead and check our results. 
Uh, yep, everything looks good. It is in app data, by the way. So that's good. Go ahead and remove selected. Get the log. Yes to restart. All right, and system care antivirus has been removed, other than the shortcut. But we can just delete that. And that'll wrap it up for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.